Hello, hello everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing. Well, but, well, I guess technically we are continuing our adventures through the Breath of the Wild world, but it is not continuing Breath of the Wild. We are beginning Age of Calamity. Now, I did play this game, like, when it first came out, I do believe, a long, long time ago. At least I think it was around when it first came out, roughly. But I never completed all of it. And it's been a long time. And since I have Tears of the Kingdom on the docket, and we just beat Breath of the Wild, why not do kind of like an interesting thing where I can kind of decompress from playing open world Zelda while still immersing myself in the world of Breath of the Wild? I think it works nicely. We get a new gameplay style, but we also still get to have the characters from Breath of the Wild, especially considering I do not think that any of the champions return. Like, any of the champions or, like, many of these old characters return. And even then, this just allows me to experience the good old characters and then prepare for whatever new characters there might be in the next. But yes, but yes. Funnily enough, I was briefly considering of just like, hmm, uh, do I do a different profile thing? Because I even looked it up and I should also be able to use like the DLC that I like purchased and downloaded for this game, which I also don't think I ever did the DLC for this game, <laughs> just like Breath of the Wild. But, but at the same time, I don't think well, with Breath of the Wild, I never beat the main quest either. But I do believe that the Nintendo Switch does allow you to play any downloaded content across any profile on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, if So long as, like, I think the main Nintendo Switch account is the one that owns the content on the Switch. Which is kind of nice, but because we're going to jump right in, let us start a new game. And I know deleted save data cannot be restored, but we shall do it. Oh, it even begins from the very beginning. We'll do normal difficulty because I do not want to... Uh, Suffer under uh, damaged sponges, destroying me, utterly annihilating me. Let us go. This game uses an automatic saving system. I wonder why they say that and not autosave. <laughs> it uses an automatic saving system. Isn't that just autosave? Silence, Philistine! And remember to stay hydrated. Hydration important. Rain and fire. Oh yeah, I forgot we open up here. We actually get to see outside of just memories. The invasion of Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Warriors. Oh, there's Zelda's room. Zelda's tower. Not the box! Age of Calamity. Oh yeah, I forgot that Zelda did that way back. The big a uh, light dome. No wonder she was able to consume Calamity Ganon. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about you. <laughs> the little guardian egg thing. I completely forgot about you. And I have also forgotten your name. You're very lively. The egg is just like, got it. Exactly. I'll protect everyone. Although, funnily enough... <laughs> it's just like, I'll open a portal. It gets yeeted out.
The real question is, how did Zelda just have a time-traveling egg guardian? Just sitting in a box. That was also, like, I guess, activated by her... All oh, the... All oh, this music. I have so many thoughts going in through my head. A tale of champions. A diminutive guardian who traveled backward through time. And the great calamity they faced. That music is great. I gotta say, that's like... <laughs> amazing opening, no notes. Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. No idea why they had Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity in plain text earlier, but sure. But that's neat. Also extra interesting that that, like... The Egg Guardian going back in time... Happens before, like... The future 100 years and the future part happens in Breath of the Wild. Which is kind of funny. There's Link out of uniform. Hey, King Rome. Defier of prophecy. Listen well, soldiers of Hyrule. I wonder if they got everybody to reprise their roles. We have scarcely faced a threat of this magnitude. The years have passed quickly since Calamity Ganon's revival was prophesied. Yes, we have unearthed the Divine Beasts, and filled volumes with our knowledge of ancient relics. But a barricade of books will not protect us. Because this way surges a horde like we have never faced before. Even now, the enemy is clawing for our throat. Yeah, literally, I coming for Kyrie Castle. castle. We must exterminate the monsters roaming Hyrule Field. Thus, we'll begin our renewed effort to stop the Calamity! Here! Now! Go forth! And be brave for your kingdom! Huzzah! We're... Here we go! Fire the cannons! It's been forever since I played this. So this will be interesting. I do like that they like really Oh, I forgot that I could do that! I just wanted to do this. We'll blast all these. But oh, man, there's like a ton of goblins. All just coming for Hyrule Castle here. If this is what Link was like before the Calamity struck, no wonder he was able to destroy, like, Lynels and entire armies in the flashbacks. Right. Booyah. Right. It seems we have purged the Horde from the castle. Well fought all. More foul beasts? Oh, he mustn't falter. Hold strong! Where are they coming from? I'm looking at my map. This is really cool. I know I played it before, like years ago, but this is great. Oh. I forgot that I had, like, special, like, ball bit of ball. These foes are strong. Stay on your guard. Scary? They even kind of have the... Like, move sets. Ow. Ah, Flurry Rush! I forgot that's also in this game. Ow. Well, it's not much different than the normal game. When I- without my bombs, I cannot cheese the Moblins. 
Oh, actually. Oh, that wrong thing indeed. I meant to uh, do the actual weak point smash. From YouTube chat, hello, hello. Since I beat Breath of the Wild, I decided let's go to a what if. Do Age of Calamity. Because I remember really liking it. It's been years since I played. Well, well, we have a Moblin Slayer among us. Because I do want to also, like, read the character dialogue in the corner. I'm not sure if I did that last time. Come on, spawn more monsters. Oh, hello, big monster, big Moblin. I do not remember. Come on, <laughs> lower your shield. Weak spot. Slash time. Your Majesty, the Princess's aid has been sighted on the battlefield. Right. Give the word and we can escort her to safety. Indeed. No need. Oh, I also forgot that you exist. Hello. This small seed was given by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. Gather a bunch of them and certainly something will happen. No need. She is more than capable of handling herself. The princess's aid. I forget who it is. Like the one downside to playing an action heavy game, I can't glance at chat as much. Oh, neat that there's like multiple, like, boss for goblin types. I don't think that I'll be able to break your weak spot. You're not reckless. I need to. I need flurry rushes against you. But I'm bad at getting them. Luckily, you don't really have much health. Get out of here. More chests. <laughs> I just came back after remembering Yokai Watch exists. <laughs> Yokai Watch, I, I remember hearing, like, good things about that. Never, like, got into it myself. Oh, it's the, the Egg Guardian, maybe. <clears throat> Wake up, Egg Guardian. You went back, like, a few months in time. You can parry as well? I, I forgot that as well! I am a very basic bitch when it comes to this game. Impa, royal advisor, loyal you friend. Help! Not the Sheikah Slate. Why are you carrying it like that anyway? It has a handle. <laughs> he picks it up as it's falling. Only the world decides it will fight. I don't know. <laughs> I like that it's almost like, oh, the Egg Guardian is doing a big smash. A tower. I'm trying to remember, was it? Then again, that's a hundred years in the future in the midst of ruins. Oh, is this the tower like a ways into the field? No, it's not next to a, it's not next to a, what is it called? Not next to a mountain. <laughs> Hello, little guardian. Do not flee. You are among friends. What is that? But, no, first I must deal with these enemies. You were running away before. You there, thanks for help. Now let's carve our way out. Yeah, since, like, uh... And now what? what's that? The Sheikah Slate in your hand been activated. Pura said the slate might have powers to help us fight. Well, I have no idea about it. Oh, I, apparently I'm gathering food energy. 
You dare hit me? Funnily enough, like, only a select few Bacoblins actually have weapons. That's actually kind of amusing. Who needs combos? <laughs> that went so much faster than any camp I have ever done. In Breath of the Wild. Let's take them all out. But man, also... Uh, how about, uh... No. Your Majesty, report from our forces to the west. A giant tower of some kind has appeared. Yes, I see it too. Send soldiers to investigate the site. R and then Y. Ah, there we go. I need to remember to use runes on enemies to break their stances. Luckily, it slowed things down so I could actually read the dialogue. Ah, I saw boxes and thought I could open them. That is not the case. We'll take the long way around because I think Impa went to war. So we'll let Impa go on through as we annihilate our foes and get Bacoblin Guts, which is totally out of canon. These Bacoblins do not drop Bacoblin Guts, at least I don't think so. Maybe it's a really rare drop on, like, normal Bacoblins. But I'm fairly certain that it's, uh, like, locked to harder level Bacoblins. But I could be wrong. What if I threw bombs? For some reason, using the, like, movement stick instead of the camera stick for that really throws me off. Okay, and also the now the map is throwing me off. We go this way. I don't know why. <laughs> when it comes to Breath of the Wild, watching my dad compared to my gameplay was a, a lot of difference. <laughs> I can only imagine there's, like, so many different ways to play Breath of the Wild. That, like, two different people could play the exact same game and go in completely different directions and do it completely differently. Which is kind of cool. Even though it does kind of lead to sometimes missing content as well. Because there's so much in so many different places. You can easily miss something that's just a... Like, talk to this one person to go on a magical quest. Take bombs. Your butt, little minions. Be destroyed. And hey. Oh, but it was too slow. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, come on! Get smashed, idiot! I do like that they're incorporating so much of Breath of the Wild in a Hyrule Warriors game. It's just so nice. It's just very, very cool. Fire whiz rope has appeared. A fearsome monster has appeared. Please, let me handle this. Oh, can we transfer now? We can. Then does that mean I can order Link around? I can. Well, I guess, uh... Head there. And I should change character. Hello, there, fire whiz rope. But now, funnily enough, this gives, like, extra context to, like, uh, 
<laughs> like all the Sheikah power, considering we actually saw the, <laughs> like, what's the name, Maz Koshia? Just absolutely wreck shit. Oh, hey, we even have clones. I completely forgot about this when I played Breath of the Wild. Completely forgot that Impa in the ancient past also had clones. This is, like, so cool that they actually, like, utilized so much of, like, Breath of the Wild in this game. Rather than just doing it, like, a little bit of lip service of, like, ah, oh, yeah, sure, here's things. No, they actually went in, like, we're gonna do this. And it's going to look, it's gonna almost play, <laughs> like, in specific situations. Yeah, smash yourself. Take this, Lizolfos. Booyah. But we still have another outpost to take over. Because we must cleanse all of Hyrule Field. From YouTube chat, hi. <laughs> that wasn't on water, unplayable. <laughs> exactly. But hello, hello. We are experiencing Breath of the Wild, but has a... I forget what, like, the... What's it called? Like, the nickname for this, like, gameplay style. But the... Warriors franchise. We are experiencing Warriors gameplay. Get smacked by goblins. Extra funny that there's only like a lot of low level goblins. All right. That's my favorite combo right now. Clearing out the enemies. Because I don't even have to look at my enemies to kill them. Come on, spawn more. Ah, oh, there you are. I shall bomb you. And now, goodbye. <laughs> Hack and slash? No, this one's like a uh, kind of genre has its own specific nickname because it's based off of the. Uh, I forget the series name. But it's a long-running uh, franchise, kind of based on, I think, like, I forget, like, which, like, uh, ancient wars. It has, like, uh, uh, Yonobu Obanaga, just, like, a whole bunch of, like, semi-historical characters just wielding crazy weapons and taking on entire armies of enemies. It's less hack- like- it is hack and slash, but also like its own defined genre. Just because there's so many Warriors games. But yeah, basically, go to outpost to outpost, armies of enemies, hundreds of KOs, and murders. It's a Warriors game. And it can be quite satisfying, too. Failure, Lizalfos. You did not leap at me while I was getting close to you. Your ambush techniques are terrible. Be gone. I wonder how long it'll take me to, like, exceed the amount of monster murder I did in all of Breath of the Wild just through this game. That also makes me wonder what the highest amount of monster murder in all of, uh, like, Breath of the Wild was. Well, I have this. Might as well use it. <laughs> With Balm! Good luck. Good work, Lady Impa. We'll try our best to keep up. 
tide of battle has been decided. Let's finish this in one fell swoop. I mean, I did already bomb them. It's bad, real bad. A troop of moblins has appeared. I guess I will order you to follow me. Where are the moblins? Oh, down there? I already cleared down there. This will be easy. That is bad, but somehow we must find a way to stop them. Defeat the Malbedus. What do I wonder? I was hoping that would be like, ah, oh, take, like, special damage. Get smacked, whiz robe. Mini boss man. Oh. Oh, I can do that. I completely forgot. <laughs> I guess I didn't pick up the other one. I also missed you. They're just all over the place. Little freaks. Well, it's moblin time. Well, that's not who I want to lock onto at all. Ah, I got a rush. <laughs> Be gone, moblin. Although I gotta say, these moblins are like uh, holding up pretty well, considering of like ah, oh, that was too far away. Sadness. I wanted to blow them up. Well, like compared to the moblins, I just obliterated with bombs in Hyrule, <laughs> uh, like a Breath of the Wild. These guys are actually holding up quite well, especially because this is actually a good weapon compared to just the sticks and stuff that I used against them in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> You're gonna throw your friends? What are you? The pet monster from Black and White, the god game. Oh, it's because you have no weapons. Why they? Why would they send a moblin into war with no weapon? Sure. Look, we did it! The monsters are retreating. I like how the little egg is just following us. You fought well, and victory is your reward. Savor it. Mm. That young knight served his kingdom well. Perhaps an official appointment is in order. The Battle of Hyrule Field, victory. From YouTube chat, hello, hello, hello. We're Age of Calamity in it. We got an iron sword, well, just broad swords. Oh, but this one has damage to midair enemies. Midair enemies. A slightly better one, and a twig. Oh, and this is the best of the best. And I just love the music. It's like they it's like these developers heard, oh, Breath of the Wild has no music? Fine, we'll give you music. And just bam! Just slaps you in the face. And already we're just getting Where'd we get all the fish? Okay, I guess they just have swarms of uh soldiers out there just taking trophies of the monsters, like, look, we killed them. Inexplicable guardian. Teeny tiny. And a mysterious tower. I mean, is it really I mysterious? Hate to say it, but we have little hope of figuring this out on our own. It's a tower. I don't think it's that crazy. Hey, what are you? Flee after the egg. No, stop right there. <laughs> and then Link just got dragged into egg babysitting duty with. Impa. Ah, depression Each time. Of you has served your kingdom admirably. Huh. <laughs> Zelda, burgeoning scholar, princess. You made it. I'm glad 
you're safe, Impa. Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> and they're just. I've received the Sheikah slate from Pora. <laughs> He's like, nope. You are egg. We do not trust you just yet. What is that? Hmm? Your Highness. Look, the Sheikah slate activated. And they're like, ah, it's connected to the egg. The Sheikah Slate conveyed the little guardian's purpose. This anomalous visitor had traveled from a future of ruin. We just picked that up. A time That's kind of neat. In the midst of the calamity. Zelda is very intelligent Say, to figure that out. Zelda. Impa proposed recruiting Pura and Robbie, renowned researchers of ancient technology, to study the guardian and investigate the mysterious tower that had appeared on Hyrule Field. King Rome of Hyrule gave his assent. Study that tower. It looks weird. Send in the nerds. Ba -da. I do like that they still kept the piano as, like, the main instrument of Breath of the Wild. In order for young Link the Hylian Knight, you must guard the mysterious tower that has appeared. I'm told it may be important. As for the time-hopping guardian, is it truly deserving of our trust? You must discern this beyond any doubt with the aid of the researchers. May the goddess Hylia watch over you always. Rome Bosphoramis Hyrule. Link, Silent Knight, a skilled swordsman serving the royal family of Hyrule. Born to a line of Imperial Guards, he is renowned for his fighting skills and courage. Impa, royal advisor, loyal friend. The advisor to Hyrule's royal family and a revered member of the Sheikah tribe. She is dedicated to her work and known for being steadfast and diligent. She can be distractible at times. Da, da, da. Map of Hyrule. Use the Sheikah Slate to choose a destination. Tackle problems across Hyrule and level up your characters. Save data for the Legend of Breath. Oh, I required a bonus weapon. It's the training sword. A wooden practice sword used by soldiers of the Hyrulean army. It has a decent weight to it. Gripping it makes takes you back to your early days of training. Expansion pass data found. Purchase bonus obtained. <laughs> Got the prototype ancient helmet. This headgear is the result of Robbie's research. The use of guardian parts makes it highly durable. It has potential, but there's still much room for improvement. And then the same thing, ancient Kuros. Create using data as much improvement, so basically the same thing. Basically the same thing, just with Greaves. Oh, and then Ancient Sword. I feel like that is an early game breaker. It's like twice as good as any weapon I currently have. A prototype developed at the Royal Ancient Lab. The data obtained from the time traveling guardian accelerated research progress by decades. And it's level three recommended, but it's saying go here. Learn to cook. Earn recipe for steamed meat. Hot meals in a pot. The head cook of the Hyrulean army has shown you a cooking pot. Good fortifying meals can make all the difference. Try it out. Strike up a fire and get cooking. Would be funny if it was just like an entire fight. You have to fight the cooking pot. You got a fire going and cooked for the first time. Now, if a pot of fire and the right ingredients, you'll be able to cook a variety of dishes. Do it whenever you need sustenance. And now we can increase damage. And help Hyrule. Contributions to Hyrule. Complete quests in a region to contribute there. Work together with the denizens across the kingdom to grow stronger and fight against the calamity. I forgot that this was a thing. Ah, we don't have enough to earn recipe for things. One-handed weapon bonus combo. Hyrule Sword Fighting Academy. 
A great swords master wants to start a monster fighting workshop, but she lacks materials to build her classroom. I'll provide the resources available for 150 pieces of paper and some monster parts. <laughs> With the materials Link supplied, the sword master built a perfect classroom. As thanks for his help, she offered to let him join the class. And we have a little bit more extra. Slapping time. Now we do not have enough monsters there, though. Impa ran across a merchant in the Hebra region who lamented that it had been years since his last journey home to Kakariko Village. Maybe a few souvenirs will ease his homesick heart. A pumpkin, a swift carrot, a firefly, and then some bokoblin trophies. I am stronger than before. I remember back in my day we had murder bokoblins for fun. Seeing the luminous fireflies from his beloved hometown, of which there was only one, the merchant's face crinkled into a warm, nostalgic smile. Now that home didn't feel so far away, he could supply return. He could happily return to work. Oh, we don't have enough choo-choo jelly. I didn't kill them enough in the last one. Road to the ancient lab. Equipping weapons. You can change the equipment your characters are using from the party mem- uh, I don't know why I might just stumbled over that. The party menu. You can also edit your party by pressing plus on the map of Hyrule. Da -da. I love the music. It's so good. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da. I guess we'll chance to automatically guard. But I guess we'll use this because we can, and uh, not that because that feels like cheating. Oh, I like it. The hat is optional. Although, slightly disappointed that not everybody gets, like, equipables. This looks quite satisfying. What a treat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, Link just goes, mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's -a go! Onward to the ancient lab. Zelda, curious about the diminutive guardian, decided to accompany Impa on her journey to Pura's research. I kind of like facility. that Link's little With Link acting hieroglyph as is kind of dynamic and interesting looking. The ancient tech lab. Almost like he has inhuman legs. Tips. The information written here will undoubtedly come in handy in future battles. How dare you. Royal Ancient Tech Lab. Oh, I forgot the little, like, hieroglyph character things <laughs> go across the top. It's neat. So it's just Link, Impa, Zelda, two guards, and the egg. At least with Impa and the other guards here, she's not going to get angry at Link. Egg is like, no, don't know you. Only know Zelda. Also, you're trying to grab him. Be kind. Pet like cat. Why is it so attached to me? It knows you. It fears for your safety. Whatever could you be, little one? Special. It can talk. <laughs> Basically, it has Star Wars robot vibes. It's R2-D2. <sighs> it speaks in boops and bleeps. I suppose all we can do is wait for Robbie and it's the other screaming. to analyze it. Agreed, Your Highness. And there's the calamity that came through, which is kind of interesting. Now there's like one and a half calamity Ganons in here. Or maybe it's just excess, like calamity uh, juice. Again? But why? You didn't excavate this one. You're a failure. You left me in the dirt. I think we can take those rather than a, 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 than a, a guardian. I will beat them with a wooden stick. A refined wooden stick. The guardian may come after us. We must leave. Indeed. 
There should be allies waiting beyond this point. Let's move ahead and scatter the monsters. Darn, I got smacked. Oh, I did it! Parry time! Although I think, uh, dodging is a bit better. But the smoke cut my eye! Flurry rush time! Aha! You cannot poke me with a giant stick, you fool! Oh, wrong thing. I'm used to the map be button being elsewhere. And then... Follow each other. I'll try to use her to level her up. Or 2 d 2 beefy. Exactly. The Sheikah Slate is responding again. But I wonder what it's responding to. Or do I need to... Oh, no, just like... Well, I just heard the... It's like, oh, it's, it's activating or, like, responding. So it's like... Uh, do I need to do anything? Or is that just a flavor text? Well a new power. It seems there's more to it than, more than just one. I mean, we had bombs and, uh... Right. <laughs> like, we had bombs and, like, uh, ice before, so... Feels like we've always had more than just one. Hey there, what if I did this to you? Get obliterated, idiot. I like that that still exists. The elemental powers against the enemies. The elemental weak points. I also like that she kind of has the, like, uh, kind of Yiga Clan-esque disappear stuff going on. Which does make me wonder, where were all the, like, trained Yiga ninjas, if there were only the Yiga clan. Oh, carrying metal equipment? Mine now. Get smacked. Be gone, and be stabbed! We don't really need this outpost. We move along. We must save Zelda before she gets herself killed. We came all this way. We should be safe now, I think. You jinxed it. You'll kill us all. I like that these are just like little things here. Oh, hello, evils. I don't think I can beat you. The Guardian is after us. Run away, princess. I beg of you. Yeah, but I don't think we can beat that right now. Like, maybe later. Do not engage the Guardian's power is too great. It won't end well if we fight. I wholly agree. Now, later in the game, if we return to this, maybe. But not right now.
Meanwhile, Impa is just waiting behind. Getting confused, I think. Scared of the giant monster. What can be done? That thing is relentless. Well, we have a can. Well, I thought that was a cannon. No, it's just a, a piece of a guardian. Hey, Captain, you got anything to say? Are you going to hijack, like, one of your bigger kin? Oh, you're just waking him up. Oh, it's kind of golden. What the? That's big. Incredible. The little one has saved us all. It will be done. There are more guardians nearby. Perhaps we can activate them too? Yeah, let's uh, move along. Activate the unearthed guardians. With the power of egg. Buy you some time. Use it to prepare a counterattack. So you're just committing suicide. So we gotta go fast so the boys don't die. Well, any more than they will. They're normal Hylians going up against a guardian. They don't stand a chance. How dare you spit at me with spit so powerful it damages me. Very rude. You'd think that somebody else would have come through and like taken care of uh, at least these like monster outposts. Like up there. Clearly this is not a safe place to take the, the princess. Although, come to think of it, it's kind of nice that King Rome is letting Zelda come along for this. I guess because, like, technology and the Guardians are, like, more involved at this point. He's willing to let her do things because of the mini-Guardian. It's like, ah, the mini-Guardian is from the future. Technology maybe will save us all after all. Although there's probably still gonna be the big ol'. You must become a religious zealot, Zelda. If you don't do it, we'll all be very sad. Then again, if you're like a... Like, pseudo-reincarnation of a goddess... Is it religious zealotry? Well, then again, I guess all religious zealots are like, yes, I believe this crazy thing of person being more than human. Give me your power. I kill you of metal, or not even metal, it's wood. Your electricity means nothing to me. It's like the wooden gun used against Magneto. that the Chews seem to be, like, a part of the enemy army here. Whereas, like, in Breath of the Wild, the Chews were more like just normal monsters out in the field. Kind of, like, not even involved with the Calamity at all. Goodbye, Moblin. Slam. Smack you. Come over here, get Korok Seed. <laughs> Guardian music dramatically plays. It is here to cause you anxiety. Alright, Unearth Guardian, uh, get smacking. Bully that guy down there. He's hideous, he's ugly, goodbye. Trying to think. Like, let's look at the map. Hmm. 
because there is, like, a moblin invading. So maybe we can, like, loop around. Well, no, there's these blocks here. But let's see. I'll fight too. I simply cannot stand by and watch. How are you going to fight? I, I genuinely forget. If I use the Sheikah Slate creatively, I'll be able to fight by your side. I mean, yeah, it is. It actually, that could maybe work. If you are... I'm not sure, like... Hmm. That's Zelda. So I guess I'll... Oh, why you... Oh, Sheik! <laughs> not Sheik, but Impa, why are you down there? And let's see, where am I? I need to go this way. Link, don't let the princess have to fight. I completely missed things because I was <laughs> messing around with map power. It's like she's just spamming. Like a true gamer. Forward. There is no intent, there is only madness. Although I guess I could send Link after. Oh, it is behind a gate. So this is actually the right way, anyway. Just constantly spamming. Also, these runes are activating really quickly. It's like the technology is just like, go fast, overclock the Sheikah Slate. That takes a while for it to go boom. Uh, allow me to take your weapons. Fine, I shall use this against you. I have no idea what that did, but sure. I have no idea what I'm doing, just like Zelda. See. I see. Indeed. <laughs> You're beyond reproach, princess. Just going crazy. But also, man, Zelda is actually, like, pretty athletic just jumping off an ice block like that. Even if it was a teeny tiny one. What if we just uh, obliterated you? Please. We've all been hit, Impa. It's the evils of the world come to make us pay. <laughs> Smack him with the box! Smack him with the box! That voice line actually makes sense. I can't move. You got it blasted by electricity. It does indeed make sense. Although I don't think the king is going to be very happy when he hears that Princess Zelda did fighting. Why if I just throw bombs at all of you? You're all very weak. Oh. All right. Blast him. No. And also, man, like, I don't even need to upgrade my runes to be able to freeze monsters, too. A hundred years of lacking updates, I guess, destroys your Sheikah... That's what it is! Well, no, I guess it wouldn't make sense. I was gonna joke that, oh, the Sheikah Slate got updates from the... Excuse me. Got updates from the little time-traveling egg. But that doesn't make much sense. Preparations are complete. However, the target is currently out of range. We're gonna have to lure it into range. You have but one option. Lure the enemy into range. 
Let's do so, but carefully. Unearthed Guardian has completed attack preparations. Oh, and then... Follow me. Lure the Guardian to the target position. Allow me to just do this. I'm fairly certain I dodged after that attack, but sure. And because I want that last... like, outpost, I shall go around. And then we will come back. Excuse me, Bacoblins. But I also like just like immediate, almost immediately early in this game. They're like, here, have guardian music. Even in Hyrule Warriors, you cannot escape it. Oh, I am around. I needed that for a overworld quest. That, like my shield surfing did like no damage to anybody. Follow Zelda. Like maybe it resets after they actually reach their position. But I don't remember that being how it worked in the original Hyrule Warriors. How about I bomb you? Your shield isn't even that bomb proof. Open. I got nine Mighty Porkies in there. I completely forget if I even ever found Mighty Porkies in normal Hyrule... Not normal Hyrule Wars. Normal Breath of the Wild. And now we shall lure the Guardian in the way. Get out of here. Although, funnily, I think I was able to take out a Guardian relatively early in my playthrough. So really, this is just a skill issue. And again, there's just like so many just... goblins everywhere. Hey, Guardian. Come after me. Take that. I probably shouldn't have done that, because now it'll take it a bit to <laughs> come back. Yeah, follow me. I made you angry. I made you very angry. Angry octopus. Angry spider dome. Follow me to your hell. Come on. Follow me to the land of freedom. Just a destroy gate. The Guardian's armor is weakened. If we strike directly, now we should be able to topple it. We have done a decent amount of damage to it by utilizing its friends. Take this! Thank you, chat, for telling me, reminding me that 
parrying exists in this game. That's so fun. Beat you with a stick. Even the egg is like, are you okay? Are you hurt, old nightman? <laughs> that is a wood. Does not make that noise. Is that a big cannon or a telescope on top of that tower? <laughs> oh no. Evil scout. Road to the ancient lab. Completed! So we got a Lazal boomerang, a soldier's broadsword, some traveler's swords. Let's read them. A crude bacoblin club made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick. A curved sword favored by the Lazalfos. It can be used to attack directly or can purportedly be thrown like a boomerang. A very common sword often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. And then there's more of the Kodachi. Ancient memory part. Interesting. A small device developed to combat monsters that attaches to the Sheikah Slate. It can modify the output of ancient energy, increasing the power of runes. I like that they actually, like, explain a bit. Like, ah uh, yes, you want to know why? <laughs> it's because it's a special attachment. And now we can increase our move speed or damage to or from enemies. So defense. Increase the defense. This is technology. The likes of which I've never laid eyes on. Hey, Robbie. Which means we've got ourselves a brand new never before witness. Got it! <laughs> Robbie, genius eccentric. Devices like the Sheikah Slate, which are he just has a whole ass guardian in there. Ancient relics. I've got a meager fragment of such technology. I see. That explains why all of us were able to use the Sheikah Slate. In addition, this here doohickey is loaded with data. Information. Can't even fathom. And here's Pura. Oh, yeah. Check it. Pura, eccentric genius. They're both eccentric geniuses. Hmm. <laughs> I extracted some visual data. I like that little stumble at the beginning. Like nobody responded to my check it. <gasps> Is that? Yep. No doubt about it. Hyrule Castle after Calamity Ganon has been revived. At least there's As you now can proof see, of the future. <laughs> we managed to extract some of the data, but much of it was fragmented. But how did the egg get that Even so, visual data? If I analyze what we received, I may be able to make sense of more of it. This is the ruin the calamity will bring upon all of Hyrule. That if means... we allow this to pass, I fear all hope will be lost. Even everything we've done up until now likely won't be enough. I mean, sure, if we're looking at Apocalypse, but don't be a downer. Sealing the calamity. Never. This will not come to pass. Like, it must be one thing to kind of know that Apocalypse is coming in just to see it from the future. The latent power dwelling within the Princess of Hyrule, and the might of the four divine beasts unearthed from across the land. However, the path to victory was strewn with obstacles. Korok Forest, where the legendary swords slept, had been overrun by monsters. They actually got the through the of hidden forest? Power showed no signs of awakening. Lamenting the kingdom's plight, King Rome sent his daughter to gather pilots for the Divine Beasts. Alongside Link, whose brave conduct had earned him a role as her knight, 
Zelda would meet with each of the four candidates. Time to go recruiting! The egg is afraid. You intend to let this relic follow you around? Hmm? I mean, it literally gave us information that's good. Yes. After talking to Pura and Robbie, we thought it would be best. I will remind you once again. Above all else, your duty is of the utmost importance. Are we clear? Yes, we are clear, I understand. And I will honor my duty. She did see an apocalypse presumably brought upon by her failing her duty. I think that's kind of motivating. I wonder what that is. But nope, Rome is still back on his... Awaken your spiritual power! Da -da, da -da -da -da. Love the music. Zelda, burgeoning scholar, princess. The princess of Hyrule in whose veins flows the blood of the goddess. She is devoted to researching ancient technology and awakening her sacred power. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Just awaken everything. Da -da. Challenges. The power of the Guardian from the future has opened the path to a battlefield from another world. Travel there to tackle new challenges. Map overview. While you're on the map of Hyrule, you can view scenarios, quests, and more by pressing L or R. Royal Ancient Lab. A laboratory dedicated to researching ancient technology. Complete Pura and Robbie's research requests to put their results to use in battle. And I'm guessing that since this is... I think this is a DLC, but still we could look at it. A lab where Sheikah scientists research ancient relics. Perhaps they'll also invent new tools for fighting the calamity. It seems you have a request from Pro and Robbie at the ancient the lab. The we obtained from the time-traveling guardian was most auspicious. Mm, yes. Though it's bittersweet seeing years of research become outdated in a matter of days. <laughs> that, that does have to kind of suck. But hey... Now you're here for the future, which is now. Please! I think it's great. If all goes to plan, our research will be unstoppable. Ah, uh, but we don't have the manpower to progress our research. Defeating the calamity comes first. So, Linky will help us. You do want to see our amazing invention, right? Hmm. You'd think that yes. putting manpower towards their inventions would also help. Then again, this is Rome we're talking about. Beneficial, I dare say. Anyway, you can work out the details as you go. It'll be worth it. Promise. Now make it snappy. It's like a tech tree. Gain the ability to collect research papers. We'll definitely want to do that. Researchers compile battle data and research papers, which can lead to scientific advancements. Sadly, we don't have a large sum t team here, nor the rupees to secure more help. I got the money, let's do it. <laughs> Nicely done. I guess it is Pura that's talking here, which is neat. We can now collect battle data and research papers. Ah, about this odd thing Robbie made. It's weird, so you can have it. He said it's made from some material obtained in battle. Robbie's Maintenance Oil, a heat-resistant substance developed by Robbie. It allows ancient ma uh, machines to utilize greater force when moving, raising their performance metrics. What ancient machines, I ask? And that requires a bunch of research parts to get a... Oh, gain the ability to challenge vicious monsters. And don't have things for that either. Don't have things for that either, so we at least we can get research papers. Yes, quite. Yes, quite. 
Brawny blacksmiths. The blacksmiths of Hyrule have been trying to make their bodies burlier for smithing. They've trained day and night. Now get them what they need to, to, to be in top shape for work. Have some iron shrooms. You want to get strong? Do shrooms. The blacksmiths finally achieved peak perfection, and they're ready to get to work. They've formed the Hylian Blacksmith Guild and will now make weapons suited for warriors. And it's now available. By fusing weapons of your base weapon, you can forge it into something even stronger. You can sell any unneeded weapons, too. Revitalize your weapons using techniques learned through years of study of practice and shrooms. Weapon Fusion. Raise a base weapon's level and power by fusing it with other weapons. These are consumed, but will pass on one or more seals that augment a weapon. More if the consumed weapon's level is higher. Oh, wait, no, we want... What do we want? I mean, attack speed... <laughs> we could just level this up to be a monster. from YouTube chat. All right, so which champion candidates will you go to first? Well, there's only one champion we must go to first. The champion of my heart, Ravioli. We must go to him. He calls to us. We must serve him. Go ahead and raise the trainee sword. And get a new bonus. Whoa! I don't know how, but something incredible happened. Look for yourself. They got stronger than I expected. You are pouring metal into wood, so it is very impressive. <laughs> she doesn't really have much. Yeah, raising it just by one. Earn to do good for me. I do like that there's like a blacksmithing guide. It's like, ah, you want to know? You can know. Which is neat. <laughs> ba -ma -ma. Pumpkin burglars. A shop owner is mad that Bacoblins are stealing pumpkins from his supplier's field. The owner will soon come unglued if this keeps, hap keeps up. So, do what you can about the Bacoblin problem. You did well. We saved Kakariko Village. We did it! With honey and honeycomb, the owner of the field could lure bees to the pumpkin patch. And Bacoblins hate bees. That fixed everything, so the shop owner is happily back at work. High Spirits Produce, now available. Shops. The various shops sell different materials. Be sure to check them out. They might just be carrying what you're looking for. Yeah. See, is there any... Because, like, on the one hand, we could buy things before we need them so that we have, like, a surplus. But I'm not sure. We'll take at least mm. three. Mm. We'll just take a few mm. of each. I guess we'll mm. take all the eggs. Mm. Huh? Let's see. <laughs> From YouTube chat? <laughs> Neon, just asking, but you're giving me the impression that you're gay for a volley the Rito. Hey, I'm just a furry, and he has a cool design. Traps for Kakariko Village. The people of Kakariko Village wish to maintain their home's peaceful ambience by placing traps around the outskirts of town. See if you can h rustle up some trap components for them to use. Let's see. That's a decent amount of Resolfo, and we get a bonus combo for Impa, so I guess. New power, new Monsters who tried to encroach upon Kakariko Village found themselves ensnared in traps making it easy for the villagers to fend them off. The scene gave Impa inspiration for a new move. Yeah. 
And a new combo unlock. I do like that Impas seem to be around Kakariko Village. Hmm, special condi conditions, time limited. Very interesting. Ah, but we can unlock S Swanked Up Saddle. Swanked Up Saddle. A stable master is renovating his stable, adding a fancy suite with a fluffy bed and premium fruit. But the fruit is proving to be a challenge. Can you help? And why does he need Bacoblin and the Zolfo trophies for fruit? Oh. With the renovations complete, plus the deluxe fruit you brought, the stable master finally held a grand reopening of his stable. You're now welcome to drop by any time. And the outskirts stable is now available. Stables and traveling merchants. The traveling merchants of Hyrule have set up a trade association of sorts. As a result, you can now purchase rare items at stables that traveling merchants have visited. But where's Yo. Beetle? Is Beetle here? Is he safe? <laughs> From you to Chep and also your fanboy and Cass. I just really appreciate good furry designs and games. Because sometimes there's just not that many, which is a crime. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I shouldn't go buying too many things. But at the same time, these are mm -hmm. limited above the others. <laughs> Let's see, any other stables? There is one up here, but I don't think I have materials. I need beetles. I need the beetles. Oh, but we can do the traveling merchant down here. On the hook. A stable master has been helping with the fishing because nearby Luralin Village ne because nearby Luralin Village needs seafood for a festival. He's had to step away from his stable. Help him fish so he can reopen it. You did well. After you helped gather the seafood for the Laurelin Village Festival, the stable master was able to focus on his work again. He's reopened his stable to the public. Yeah! Yeah! Well, at least grab these three, because they're the most ah. rare, and now I am poor. And a Sheikah Slate bonus combo. The Frontiers of Knowledge. Progress has stalled on development of a new upgrade for the Sheikah Slate. Princess Zelda believes that certain monster parts may give her the clue. She needs to overcome this hurdle. Here you go, Zelda monster parts. I refuse to be anything less than capable. When you gave Princess Zelda the monster parts, her eyes lit up and she rushed off to continue her work on the Sheikah Slate expansion. You knew research would proceed smoothly now. Ah, so base strong attack has a double now. And we don't have the pokety pokes. So let's go and do these extra time traveling ones. Battle info. Up, oh, off we go. Well, at least do this one. Let's see. Movement speed, damage. Damage from enemies. I prefer to do more damage. Let's beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. And remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Lest the monsters come. While you're dehydrated and your muscles worthless. Fuse multiple weapons together. We just did that. Weak point gauge. We know about that. Remote bombs. Highly effective against defensive units. Use the blast from this rune to overcome an enemy's guard. They're not really remote bombs in this game, considering we just use them. Who needs my shield surfing when I can just smack him with my combo? My combo so lit, I level up from it. You think you can hide? You cannot hide. Yeah. 
I just love how, like, faithful this all is to, like, uh, Breath of the Wild and just look and feel. Just so very well done. And you know what? I'm interested. Uh, I thought that might do something. Also interesting that that means that you can't, like, uh, spam all the runes, considering that I think in Breath of the Wild you could do all of them. So this is just like, ah, I can just smack them all with it. Ah, that's how you break it. For five rupees. I just see a giant box, and I'm like, hey, is there something in the box? Technically there was, five rupees. The ultimate piggy bank. Only someone insane like Link would try to open it up. Even if, like, uh, those basic wooden boxes have far more rupees than the metal one. Give me that. But if I smack you with this box, I smack you all with it! And before we kill, like, all of them, I want to see if there's anything up here. Probably not, but you never know. Nah, just boxes. But boxes do hold things. I run away from the apple. Oh, come on, that's perfect drop point. Half the time remains, and I only need to kill 12 more. Seven more. Ow. Black Myth Wukong up in here. <laughs> only one more. How about I arrow you instead? <laughs> Impressive that you survived. Da 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 da. I really like how they're just really, really, really using that. Motif. Da 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 da. From YouTube chat. So, Neon, how much trivial knowledge do you know about the Zelda series? It's like all over the place. So, like, some of them I kind of forget and will remember later. I just know I have an eclectic assortment of it all. Do do do. Ethereal stone, a mysterious stone brought back from an otherworldly battleground. It must have some use. Ah, and then some reports. Nice. Because, like, I think if I recall, Mojura's Mask was a very tight crunch of a game where they were, like, uh, <laughs> where he just reused a bunch of Ocarina of Time stuff and made it in less than a year. Gallery info has been upgraded. Da, 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 da. Da. Keeping the village peace. Some villagers have asked the swordmaster to take care of the Lizolfo skulking around town. Unfortunately, her hands are full. Perhaps Link can take care of it? Well, we did just kill 300 of them. The Swordmaster was delighted to see Link return to the classroom with proof of Lizalfos' defeat. She passed along the good news to the villagers. And along the way, Link also learned new moves. Ba, 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 ba. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and do a champion. Let's do Revali. But first, if we can... I guess we don't have the ability to, like, level up characters just yet. Oh, well, we'll just have to let Link this do the heavy so lifting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, uh, I have a decent amount of Zelda trivia rolling around my head, but it's possible that there's, like, a decent amount that I'm just missing. Oh, we're flying her out. Like, that makes sense. Like... 
the otherworldly zones we teleport to, but to places in the world we fly to. That's kind of neat. Dorito resided in a settlement on the Tabantha frontier. There's the boy! Feathery folk in little slip form. The ability to glide along the wind. And they were adept with bow and arrow. Counted among them was Rivale, the most capable warrior of all the Rito. The natural choice to pilot divine beast Bar Meadow. Zelda and her companions set out for Rito Village in hopes of securing his help. To evade foes, the party tried crossing through the snowfield, but a fierce blizzard befell them, halting their progress. Oh boy! Link asked Zelda to wait in safety while he and the little guardian scouted the area. We have must evade foes. Instead, we must get run over by a blizzard. Majora's Mask is one of those Zelda titles that the story takes place elsewhere other than the Hyrule Kingdom. Yep. And his very mysterious bird eyes. I do not think wearing armor like that in a blizzard would be healthy. That's neat. They let the winds carry him. There's the boy! This nonsense again? Ravali, Rito Warrior. Rito Village is my home. While I'm here, you won't be getting any closer. I also love his theme. Or, like, themes. That's the one thing I definitely remember from this game. Yeah. The Rito music goes hard! Hurry, they must be stopped! <laughs> Even in a blizzard, there's no way they'd mistake us for monsters. Why are they on the attack? The Yiga clan, maybe? I just say it, but we need to take them out. We can't allow any harm to, to befall the princess. I do like that they are using the Rito weapons. It's a small, like, like it's something that you might not be like, oh, of course they do that, but you never know. The re like the Rito Village theme. At least I think this is what it is. It could just be Rivali's theme. They love their bomb arrows. We took out the bridge. Great. Now the village should be safe. Unfortunately for you, uh, Link is a maniac, and he will come for you. Be on alert for guardian activity. We won't allow them to harm our village any further. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Love the music. Oh, there you are. With your big plumed feathers. One crack away. <laughs> Although looking at the, like, uh, feather swords, they look a bit bulky for, like, uh, what is meant to be, like, small like light swords for flyers. <laughs> the power of wooden sword. Be gone! While it does pain me to kill the burbs, or at least horribly knock them out. We must make our way. Da, 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 da. Surprise! Da, da, 
da 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 love this song so much. God, they just cooked so good with the, the music. Oh, that's what those were. I thought it was a potential air current. No, that is bombs. It almost sounded like one of them said, oh, shit. Make way. Excuse me. There's no normal attack. Go and report this to the village. We need updated orders. The Rito commander seems to be in the village. We must parlay with him before it's too late. Where must I go? Ah, more down this way. Da, 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 do, da, da. A sketchy Hylian. That's unusual for a raid. Hmm. Da, 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 da. I also wonder if any of these like locations semi match places in the overworld of Breath of the Wild, or if they're like, oh, like pretty much made up for this. I could see it be either way. So they're just excuse of like, oh well, it could have looked like this before the calamity. You dare admit that you doubted my capabilities, soldier? See if there's anything in here. There is a sparkle. Give me. <laughs> in a way, these guys are like less annoying to find in this <laughs> game. A nice moblin. That. Take that. There we go. <laughs> Damn, Lincoln AOC is a one man army. Indeed. I mean, he's also kind of a one man army in the flashbacks memories of uh, Breath of the Wild. He took on guardians, armies of Lynels, and everything. Really, this is just canonically accurate. Love the music so much. Hey, you want a box? Oh, you have a spear. Good for you. <laughs> Sorry to make you go the long way. You'll probably need to take a break soon. Another rain of arrows? We can't allow this to continue. Defeat them and open the way. First, I'm going to grab this chest. Up we go! Dang it. Terrible at dodging certain enemies. Go. Goodbye. Luckily, I'm using my wooden sword, so they'll all live. 
I love that they fly in like that. That's awesome. That's such a great way to just land them in. We must find a way to climb to the pinnacle. There must be a road somewhere. How about bombs? Weren't expecting bombs, were ya? Oh, very rude. Oh, I see a treasure chest in there, too. I will not forget you. Goodbye. No more bombs, at least from you. Love that combo. I killed so many of them in one go. Or knocked out. That they just like were hampering my movement. Hmm. Oh, I'm I'm on the wrong side for that one. I am a fool. I guess I can just go to you. I went behind the door. Get flurry rush, idiot. And this is why being able to swap characters in Hyrule Warriors is just a great thing. It is just so well done. How do you even get that tied to your ankles? Ow. Prepare for bombing. Oh, we're just getting started! He seems fairly stubborn, but no matter, I'll have him turning tail in no time. Unfortunately, I went to the blacksmiths. The power of blacksmiths compel you. I know it, like, wouldn't work for gameplay reasons, but I'm kind of disappointed that you don't, like, have flying Rito shooting you while they're flying. As, like, an environmental hazard or something. Completely understand why, because... You want to be able to beat up the enemies. Then again, Link can throw bombs. Why can't he be an anti-air artillery monster? We have to carefully, daintily land. Beat up all the boxes for additional money. Say hello to the Korok. I like how they're not even explained in universe. It's like, Korok! You know how they work. You know them. Link may not, but you do. Take this! Give up! How dare you freeze me! Oh, we knew you were good, but we didn't know you were that good. Again, how dare you doubt me? I can shield surf. Can you shield surf? Shut your mouth, guard man. Surprise! 
Ready? Let us begin. Ow, he, he stunned me out of my chance to hit. How dare. All right, you need to die. Ah, uh, you know what? Goodbye. Oh, you're alive. But now you don't have a friend to save you. Da, 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 da. Oh, and a treasure chest. Mine. Wonders never cease. This is certainly unusual for an assault. Our strategies fell through. Now, it's up to me. Before we head in there, we're gonna glance around for secrets. And Koroks. Well, that's weird. Uh, do I do this? I do. Well, I presume. There we go. You're a little freak, you know? It's just like, oh, he's gonna shoot my my spinning thing with arrows. I'm gonna make it go really fast. I like it that this kind of implies that the area goes on. We just can't get up there. I like that. And there it is, all the way up to Rito Village. And this is kind of where the stable will be in the future. All right, Ravali. Bring it on. With his awesome bow. Look at him just gloating. I see. Our invaders have earned a special welcome. A cornucopia of Rito arrows. <laughs> Our enemy is unlike any we've faced thus far. This won't be easy. Stay on your guard. Don't tell me. You can't even fly. This is hardly worth my time. Right as I hit you with a flurry rush. Oh, I... Uh, there we go. Oh, I think that I didn't do it in time. But neat that he's, like, actually using, like, a tornado. As a, a attack. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't expect you to make it this far. I suppose I'll go ahead and humor you. Ow! Ow! Oh, there we go. He's actually kicking at me. Using those talons. <laughs> You're not as weak as I expected. If I'm not careful, you may even steal the win. Oh, uh, but I can't aim up there. Does he have homing bomb arrows? Are you, like, manipulating the wind to send arrows at me? Love the music. I dodged your bomb arrow, boy. And sorry, you can't use your tornado. <laughs> you did an anime pose. Threw him right through the door. Oh, I thought it was through the door. Hi, uh, gambit time. He's kicking him. Oh, exploded right in front of him. He like timed the fuse. Better. Stop, please. 
I like that they kind of leave it up in the air. Would Link have been able to smack him? Or would have Ravali have got the arrow off? Or would they have hit each other? The arrow fl let fly just in time before Link shot him, so they both go down. But hey, <laughs> Zelda got there in time. So the boys didn't have to kill each other. Traveler's Claymore. A basic two-handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. Its immense weight can send enemies flying. We have extra damage at full hearts. More normal for stuff for her. Oh, we got Sapphire. Awesome. Ah, oh, we got the Snow Quill Travelers. Awesome. I want the full Snow Quill set. <laughs> the Rito sell these trousers to Hyruleans and Rito... Or Hylians. I don't know why I keep saying Hyruleans. Is there ever a time where the people from Hyrule are called Hyruleans? I don't think there is. The inside is lined with Rito feathers, so they excel at retaining body heat. Rito Village has repeatedly been attacked by monsters led by an unusual guardian. Ravali and his countrymen had barely repelled the monsters, but were wary of further attacks. And I guess because the Hylians have guardians, maybe? They're like, ah, we don't we trust understand you. the situation now. I'm thankful no harm befell you. Either of you. You gave a lot of concussions to our Pardon warriors. Me. But we must address the gravity of there being another guardian resembling the little one, your highness. Mm, yes. If it is in some way connected to the calamity, we must swiftly come up with a strategy. Out with it. Huh? We both know you'll be needing my unique skills to pilot that divine beast. Hmm? However... I just really love the Rito design. <laughs> About this pathetic knight in your service, are you sure he's got what it takes? <laughs> angry, but angry. It's like, no, do not fight. <laughs> oh, I see. Our friend believes itself to be a knight as well, in service of the princess. Ah, I thought it was just breaking up a fight. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ridiculous, every last one of you. I mean, to be fair, it did activate all the unearthed guardians to blast the evil guardian. It's a very special man. <laughs> From YouTube chat? Anyway, Neon, what do you think of Lincoln Rivali's rivalry? I think it is neat, like, both, in, like, both versions. Here, it's, like, instigated because Ravali is very defensive because of the, like, guardian leading monsters attacking. So he's just, like, very wary of anything. And that fight there probably does spark off a legitimate rivalry with Link a little bit more than in canon. Where Link is just, like, I have the whole world's pressure pulling down on me. Everything sucks. I the world re did, like basically Zelda and Link have the same like issue in main Breath of the Wild where they have all the weight of the world pushed onto their shoulders and they deal with it poorly in their own ways. Zelda lashes out at Link and just is not handling her father basically uh dismissing her like, legitimate interests that could help Hyrule because he thinks she needs to focus on awakening her power. Meanwhile, Link is like, I have to be strong. I have to defend everything. I am the knight with the sword that seals the darkness. And so he kind of shuts down because, like, Mipha's diary reads that he was a very outgoing and happy child. And then the weight of the world landed on him. And he just, like, clammed up and shut up. And that's why he's very silent. And that's part of why Ravali had a rival, one-sided rivalry in Breath of the Wild. Because, like, he just, like, had his, his own issues. It's just like, 
What, am I not good enough for you, Silent Knight? It's very funny. <laughs> From Twitch chat, we got Ravioli. We got the boy. Howdy, how are we doing today? We are doing good. Age of Calamity is just such a fun game. And I think a part of the reason why I really like it is it has all the good parts of Breath of the Wild, but it's condensed. It has better, like, uh, overall... Like, for me, it's more action-packed. I get to spend more time with the characters. It's just a lot of fun. Ravali, Rito Warrior. A gifted archer who has mastered an aerial move previously thought impossible. While boastful, he has the skills to back up his claims. Now he is entrusted with piloting Divine Beast Va Meadow. We got the boy! And unlocked a ton of things. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. What's this? Gang use of the Sushika sensor for a thousand rupees. Needed researchers! The ancient tech lab is developing a sensor that detects materials, but the lead researcher needs to hire more people. And for that, the lab needs more funds. Help them out. Definitely worth it. With your help, the ancient tech lab hired staff and research is moving quickly. Despite the lab workers being so new, they've had a breakthrough with the Sheikah sensor. If you press X while material objectives are displayed, like quests or cooking recipes, you're able to track the required materials. You can also search for specific materials. And then entrance test, military training camp for leveling up people. A special instructor at the military training camp will give you training if you show him proof you've defeated a large number of monsters. Get that proof to earn his training. Uh, that's gonna take all my moblins. All my moblins! For once, you've done well. <laughs> For once, you've done well, says Ravali in the background. After proving that you have defeated plenty of monsters, the instructor recognized your battle ability. He said he will train you any time, as long as you have enough rupees. You can spend rupees to pay for training and level up the characters that have joined you. And what's this? Relief for soldier stress. Meditative training. Soldiers gather in a room within the Sage Temple to meditate upon on the discipline of soldiering. Is that even a word? Soldiering. Bring them something to help guide their military mindfulness. When you burn the material, the fragrance helps the soldiers achieve balance in body and mind. Their military meditation will be far more effective now. Visit the temple and meditate in peace. Quiet meditation will allow you to practice your skills in an imaginary world. Ah, so basically, uh, combo training. And we're missing things here. And we can register up to two things. Earn re recipe for Tabantha Bake. A Hyrulean soldier who moved to his wife's home, Tabantha Village, wants to make a traditional dish to show her how much he cares. He's trying to make the batter, but lacks an ingredient. Needs a single Tabantha wheat. You did well. With the help of the Hyrule, with your help, the Hyrulean soldier was able to complete the batter recipe and bake the Tabantha dish. His wife was delighted, and in thanks he taught you how to make it too. Movement speed plus 15. It takes a lot of materials for that. Ravali plus bonus hearts. The Lodge at Hebra Trailhead. A curious Rito needs a light to check the out needs light to check out the suspicious lodge at Hebra Trailhead. It seems a fire would provide sufficient illumination. That's gonna take all my keys. What about this? Well, well. Take my keys, I guess. I won't stop aiming higher. With a small fire lit, the Rito was able to inspect the lodge from corner to corner. He found nothing of note inside. However, he suggests that it might prove a useful as a storage space. Ah, midair regular attacks and strong attacks. Upgrading the flight range. <laughs> Ravali will like that. Some Rito workers are performing maintenance on the flight range. 
They want a platform strong enough to withstand bomb arrow blasts. Get some sturdy materials for them to use. Give me all the Ravali stuff! I've outdone myself. Indeed you have. Using monster materials, the workers finished the job without any trouble. Ravali called the upgraded flight range adequate, which, coming out of his mouth, was high praise indeed. And it's not mouth, it is beak! Get your terminology correct! You heathen! And we're missing out some things for bonus link hearts. Ah, Ravali's training. Let's go. Duh. First thing I want to see. We have no other weapons. And unfortunately, the boy has no alternate outfits, which is crime. More damage. Surprising. Surprising, he says. <laughs> Making food. Oh, that's also neat. Each individual character actually gets teleportation animations. I guess it makes sense, because they probably also have flying animations for jumping off of the tower. Loading, loading, and there's the boy added on to the character train. Need to test out some combos. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, and that creates an updraft. Fantastic. I wouldn't have it any other way. Keep me entertained just a bit longer. <laughs> just annihilate entire swaths of enemy from very far away. How about I take your hammer? Mid-air, too. Ah, uh, missed one. How about I just take it away from you again? Oh, I have to wait for you to actually, like, throw it at me. I'm waiting for you. Ah, oh, how dare you hit me out of the air. Just missed all those shots on him. I definitely hope to get more combos for the boy. Da, 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 da. Just love the music. It's so grand. I just like that Rivali is just an army slaughtering beast. What happens when you mess with me? Oh, and the moblins were actually that direction. Really now. Look at those numbers. Send them flying all at once. Watch and learn. You stand a chance. Stay up. That's actually kind of cool that his, like, on the ground, like. Like, his on-the-ground animations are him, like, kicking and clawing. And you need to actually be in the air to use it. It's actually really cool. Like, use the bow. Just really, really lovely. We've got Traveler's Bows that we can sink into. The Great Ravali Bow. The Great Eagle Bow. Ba, 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 ba. Interesting. I wonder how different, like, research reports there are. A research paper from the Royal Ancient Lab. It collects data related to fighting large numbers of enemies. This information could be the key to advancing research in this field. <laughs> We're gonna watch you murder a bunch of monsters. <laughs> That's the research. It's night time now. Da, 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 do, do, do.
It's just like, go, do, go to the blacksmith. Do blacksmithing things. Bomb, bomb. Ooh, damage per 100 KOs plus 2%. That seems insane. Battlefield specific drop rate could also be nice to put onto a big weapon. Flurry rush damage could also be nice. Toggle display. There we go. Meteor attack damage would be amazing on Revali. Utterly broken. Okay, we'll first try to put Flurry Rush on. Huh, apparently we can't. Mm -hmm. Maybe it could be that it's just like, what about this one? Can we put Flurry Rush onto this guy? Huh. Guess not. I, <laughs> I have never been good at the fine minutia of this. Hmm. But the battlefield specific, like drop rate thing. Let's see. You can find high level things to throw in. Nope. We want to level things up. I think might as well just throw in things that don't have like special diddly dees just to level up its damage. Where'd this seal come from? Oh, because I l went over a thing, I guess. Seal matching boosts. Matching seals of the same shape can greatly increase the effect the seal has, like boosting the weapon's attack power or even other bonuses. So if I wanted to subsume my wooden sword into you, I could. Which is very interesting. Good to know. But shall we shall not. We do not want to devour the poor. The poor boy. <laughs> see. The one downside I think of, like, uh, leveling up weapons is like the more like the higher level oh no it's just like the more you have to put into them da, 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 da. The downside is like some of these have like basically I need to save their <laughs> save the seals for when I can actually fuse them onto the other weapon. But we're always going to use the Great Eagle Bow. Because, of course. Damage to mid-air enemies. Hmm. Which one do I want to give him? Or can I get both? Nope, can only choose one. So mid-air enemies... Or at full heart. So I guess if... Because hmm, I don't know if Ravali has combos that knock enemies up. And he does play pretty safe. So I think I might get more use out of that. We can get a bonus combo. Learning to become the wind. Rewards for completing the beginner's course at the flight range have been lost in transit. The Rito instructor is frantically searching for something to give folks who finish the course. <laughs> have meat and bacoblin stuff. <laughs> the rewards were ready for the beginner trainees before they finished their flight range course. 
The instructor was relie relieved that no one would believe disappointed. I'll definitely need to practice out, like, my mid-air combos. Because I have a f up to five... Oh, uh, yeah, up to... Up to five now. It's like, go do this one. Wow. <laughs> How much would it take to level up the boy? Actually, not that bad. It'd still take all my money. <laughs> Let's -a go. You call this one surprising. We will take on these icy monsters. I really love this game. It complements Breath of the Wild so well. Just so well. It keeps the soul while still being Hyrule Warriors, and it's just so good. Get bombed. Get another victory. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Don't have one. One, two, three. Some ways, just blasting normally is actually pretty good. Although some enemies are a little hard to kill. How dare you hit me out of the air! Goodbye. Get another victory. I don't even know if I could get a flurry rush off on. Like, uh... <laughs> it's like, if it's even possible to do a flurry rush by dodging in midair. Entirely possible. Anti-ice training. Which, in a way, kind of makes sense, considering that they live around the ice. Ooh, monster part drop rates. Might be nice. <laughs> Double. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. So nice. Da -da. Owns actually quests registered. That's actually kind of neat. In Mabe, is it Mabe or Mabe? In Mabe Village, a souffle made with herbs is a beloved dish for celebrations. A parent wants to make it for a child's birthday and needs help getting a key ingredient for this aromatic dish. There you go. Oh. With your herbs in hand, the parent was able to make the birthday souffle. What a lovely Mabe tradition. The child loved it. In thanks, you were taught the life-giving recipe. 
Experience gain. Nice. Link bonus hearts. Ooh. A well-tended goddess. Even on busy days, the Kakariko village innkeeper always leaves something out for the goddess statue. Her friends fear she is overextending herself. Perhaps Link can help with the offering. He's just like, listen, I killed a bunch of m enemies. <laughs> Let me do this for you. <laughs> the innkeeper was relieved she could take a day off from tending to the goddess statue. Others in the village who were inspired by Link's generosity will help with the offering going forward. I don't see any others. Let's see. Bonus hearts for Zelda. Will probably be good. We'll probably have to play her for the story. A Zel Zelda seems calm as she carries out her role, greeting visitors from afar, but in fact, anxieties keep her awake at night. The waiting maid asks for you to help soothe the uh, help for your Helga. I just could not read that properly. I'm a fool. The waiting maid asks for your help soothing the troubled princess. It seems I've grown stronger. <laughs> Through the power of soothing. With the incense lit in her bedchamber, Princess Zelda fell asleep, fell into a deep slumber. The waiting maid, whispering so as not to awaken her highness, suggested this remedy might help others as well. And from you to chat, Sonion, want to chat about something? Hmm, nothing comes to mind. Hmm. Almost wish that it gave me, like, the full list, because I don't have much in terms of those, so I'll save until later when I'll really need it. And in fact, I could save on that, too. I don't think this will be that crazy. I'm trying to think of things to potentially talk about. Trying to think. Thinkity think. Cause nothing in the gamey news really jumps out at from my memory. Oh, I guess technically PlayStation 5. <laughs> like the PlayStation 5 Pro has a ridiculous price. Use Cryonis to smack some bitches. And like they sell a plastic stand separately. And like a disc drive separately. It's just all ludicrous. On top of the fact that I think they raised the price of the base PlayStation 5 Pro, so... It's not even following in the uh, tradition of... PlayStation 4 Pro, where the base PlayStation 4 went down in price. Cool down. And then PlayStation 4 Pro took over as, like, expensive time. It's just all very crazy. And you check well on most Legend of Zelda titles and almost any storyline involving time travel. Let me think. Because how many actually do involve time travel? Like, as a main, main thing. Well, maybe I need to go around. I'm trying to think. Because there's obviously Ocarina of Time. Cool down. I guess, yeah, like, Madro's Mask also has time travel. Unsure about Link to the Past. There's a... What is it called? Oracle of uh, Ages has time travel as a main component. And then I guess... Technically, Twilight Princess has a bit of time travel. Like, for a little bit? Technically? I haven't played Link to the Past, so I don't know. Breath of the Wild... 
doesn't really have time travel. Just racking my brain. <laughs> the CDI games, do they have time travel? Here we go. Oh, apparently some yeah! things we can buy. And we have money to buy them. So let's buy them. Uh. We have a lot in inventory. Not much of you, so we shall buy you. Uh. Uh. At least a few. Da, 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 da. Mastering remote bombs. Let's do it. And I guess I could play as somebody else. Since it is dedicated to level... Like level four. We'll use you. So, oh, no. You, because you're a high resale weapon, so we'll sell you. But that's actually kind of funny that a decent chunk of Zelda games do have time travel to some degree. Hmm. And then there's also like a lot of semi-interdimensionality in a lot of them. Like, uh, the Twilight Realm. Like, I had to... Oh, and then, like, also... Oh. Was not expecting this. Very interesting. That's interesting. Again, just Zelda confusing foo, basically. Press all the buttons. She's able to use all the runes in madness, just not the very big ones. No bacoblins will ever <laughs> harm her again. If only Rom Boss Ramus Hyrule could see her now. He'd send her to war to fight Ganon alone. I and then from there I can do some auto attacks. Cool. Or not auto attacks, but like basic attacks. Almost had him. I think we broke him. He's waddling away. Then he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Goodbye. Just press all the runes and throw a big magnet magnet at him. Just make a bunch of boxes, a bunch of ice. Of course it burns, he's an asshole. Right, take a picture. They were all 
destroyed. <laughs> By the power of taking a picture, we killed our enemies. I guess that f fiery whiz robe had <laughs> some ancient gears in its pockets. We got some out of nowhere. And I guess I maxed out <laughs> Link's weapons again. Da, 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 da. I guess we could also just like sell. Let's see. Let's sell low, low-ish level ones, but keep ones that like have. Go. Mm -hmm. The game just oh, because I was looking at the wrong things. Because uh, we can't pass on just yet. We'll go ahead and just lightly level up. <laughs> and with nothing else, now we just need to decide. We'll go to Zora's Domain next. Changing characters. You can change who you bring into battle from the party menu. You can also edit your party by pressing the plus while on the ma map of Hyrule. Well, then let's give that a shot. Ba -da -da -da. Da -da. You have a lot to look forward to. No matter what, we will see this. It will be my honor. There we go. That's my order of things. And since this is story time, this. damage time. Surprising. Mm -hmm. Onwards we go to Zora's domain. <laughs> That's cute, as he flies. Think you can keep up? It's the little details that make the it so good. The lived Zora, who could traverse rivers and lakes with ease, lived in Laneru, at a resplendent place dubbed Zora's Domain. And there's Mipha. Mipha, a Zora princess with the power to heal others' wounds, was selected to pilot divine beast Varuta. The giant elephant. By Link and the rest of her party, Zelda headed to Zora's domain, where she was granted an audience with King Dorafan. Oh, Dorafan! I've, I've just been calling him Dorfan. <laughs> From YouTube chat, Sonion, do you know which game title the Rito Race first debuted in the Legend of Zelda series? I do believe so. Even though I've never played it, I need I need to play Wind Waker. If I know my lore correctly, for some reason, in Wind Waker, the Zora evolve into the Rito, but they're not like the Breath of the Wild Rito. They're kind of like humans, but they have beaks and wings. And that's it. You'd think that in a water-based world, the fish people would rule. Maybe that was why they're like, huh, if this is connected to Ocarina of Time, we need to explain away where the re the r Zora went. So like, eh, they became birds. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. But yeah, I've always been saying it Dorfin when it's Dorafan. My bad. But what's the inciting? Oh, we're actually here. Me far, pilot the divine beast. King Dorafan. King of the Zora. Yes. My father, King Rome, has faith she will do her utmost. 
With your permission, of course. Hmm. This will be a dangerous mission. Piloting the divine beast against the darkness. Just love the music. And I understand that the knight who will seal that darkness has not yet appeared. Yeah, because we don't technically don't know that Link is that yet. I must refuse. I cannot send my daughter into such peril. But I... Your Majesty! Monsters are coming! I bring news! Oh, that's cute. Mifa and Link hanging out. Well, Link. You Which is kind of hilarious, nice since that meeting's about her. Miva, Zora Wellspring. <laughs> and yet, you have not changed. You know, except for the silence. <gasps> and the egg. This creature is a guardian? <laughs> How cute. Princess Mifa! That's cute. The the, the beeps that the egg well. guardian did kind of sounded like it was mimicking what Mifa. It was like, how His cute. Majesty is leading the army to intercept. Ah, there's evil foot. He thought the prince was here with you. Uh oh. Sidon, is Sidon the boy, the tiny, tiny boy. He's not big yet. We shall go. Save the we boy. Will find Sidon. You must watch over the domain. Highness. It's even raining now. At least it won't get in the way of my climbing. Because there is no climbing. Let's take out these enemies. I'll just shoot them right off the bridge. Although this long bridge should keep it, like, really, really good at defending. We will keep you safe and fight off these invaders, too. Oh, that's just cruel. Oh, it's playing Mipha's theme! But, like, in a more action-y, like, context. I almost didn't pick up on it. Oh, I can play as Mipa. I need to do that. Get I will try. Da -da. Yeah, this goes to show that the owl brood that the Calamity is kind of intelligent because it's just sending the Electro Monsters after Zora's Domain. Oh, that's not good. I really love this, like, theming. Big on. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Lady Mifa! Figures. I'll go this way. Where could he have wandered off to? Yeah, where did he do it? And why? I believe, yeah, turn you off. Good 
by. Fear my power to just annihilate all of you. How about I bomb you? Goodbye. I gotta save this captain. Get another. Again, just uh, how they include the motifs are so just well done. Especially because this is a motif that was very, very clear in, like, the original game. Captain alone. Goodbye. Get flurry rush. Idiot. You head there and we'll move along. Lady Mifa, stay away! The electrical attacks are not safe for you! I will not let these invaders run rampant in the domain! I mean, if King Dorafan is gonna take on a whole army, no wonder that Mifa is also just like, nah, I'm not gonna let them run rampant. This is my home. They're gonna listen to me. Take heed, a horde has appeared near the domain! Oh dang it, wrong thing. Then you go take care of them. Ah, flurry rush time! Flurry rush time! I guess I'll come in here and take this. But I also like that this just shows off how strong, like, all of the champions were. And then just how utterly terrifying the... Like, uh... Bubba Ba. Like, Blights would have to be in cannon to take them all down. That's rude. But fine, I'll be right back. I have to go save this guy before he dies.
you know what, uh, probably should send you here to kind of help Mipha. I believe she'll be a lower level. bad of my flurry rushes or like attempts at it Guy's about to die. Excuse me, let's get to the guy before he die. Right back. Wait. Uh, let me see. Can I actually see their heart, their health from here? Hmm. The only one not on the verge of defeat is the only one that I'm not, uh, that I'm already on top of. Very rude. Stop knocking me out of the air. Survive, please survive. Oh, there's two of them here. Watch and learn. You get out of here. Dang it, he died. Well, I guess technically I don't have to, like, save the captain so much as defeat the monsters, but still. Yeah, it sucks to lose him. We'll send you down here to destroy him as well. Have we come back down here? Dang it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, I actually flurry rush. I was trying to use her unique ability. Dang it, I got hit right out of the air. My lady, Prince Sidon. Was seen somewhere. Not there, we'll have to bring him back. Leave the domain to us, will you make haste to the prince? Oh, Ploymus Mountain? That's a terrible place. Uh, that's going to be our first Lionel, isn't it? Blasted. 
magnets. Apparently. <laughs> they just killed you. The power of magnets is not to be trifled with. I'll send you down there so we can continue conquering all this. You meet up with Ravali. I like that the bombs seem to have a decent hitbox so that Blink can actually hit some enemies that he otherwise would not. Let me drop this on you. Goodbye. No, not you. I'm, I just really, really love how the music is done in this. Oh, I almost forgot. Korok. I saw you on the way in and almost left you. Obviously, these will come in handy eventually. Surely. Be kind of mean to not have them be useful. appreciate the use of Mipha's theme throughout all of this. As well as for, like, the Rito Village theme. How it seems to be, like, using Cass's instrumentation. Like his instrument. Which is basically the closest thing to like, Rito culture that we have. Right, Sidon. Why the hell are you doing this? How'd you even get a spear? The Lino. Dang it, I thought I dodged good, but I did not. There we go, beat him up. when you decided to do a thing I could easily counter you with. Oh, what the hell was that? A bad for smacking. Even Lionels in here are scary. I should use this. <laughs> I'm low on hearts. That was too close. Don't have to tell me twice, Mifa. Get out of here. Oh, and now it just runs away. What were you thinking, young Sidon? Sidon! With your puffy cheeks. Why 
would you try to fight that beast of Nome? Sidon, little prince of the Zora. I was so worried about you. Everyone is. <laughs> Brother, I have. <laughs> Give it a smile. <laughs> yeah, what was that alerting before? Oh boy, another lino. I presume that's just the same sh shot, different shots of the same group. Because if that's three linos, horror, horror. Do what? Oh, use the Sheikah Slate? To do what? Oh! What is that? To control Varuta! Oh, cliffhanger? You dare? You dare cliffhang me? Got a lot of weapons here, including a Zora sword. A lot of traveler bows. A lot of normal spears to sacrifice to the great spear. Robbie's machine lubricant. I thought that was milk for a moment. Oh, the Zora helm! Adorable. So are we kicked back to map or cutscene? Ah, cutscene! Oh, that was cool. I guess Bacoblins are kind of, like, predictable. Zora, there is no turning back now. I wonder if Segan is in there. And Jesus, they're being obliterated. Oh, that's extra horrifying. But ha, get obliterated. That is overkill for an electric Moblin. Well, granted, this is Zora's domain, so maybe not. Could it be? I find it kind of funny. Dorfan didn't even look like he had a weapon. He was just gonna punch it. I'll take this opportunity to reach out a bit. From YouTube chat? Yeah, exactly. And also, it is bewilderingly long time for all the fans on how the Zoras and Ritos exist at the same time in Breath of the Wild. It could simply be that these Rito evolved differently from the Rito from Br uh, Wind Waker. Especially because technically, like, uh, I guess it, uh, like uh, Breath of the Wild seems to take place in a place where multiple timelines kind of coexist, and so its ta placement in the timeline isn't all that certain. So it could entirely be that these Rito aren't the same as the Rito from Wind Waker, especially because they look very, very different. But who knows? <laughs> it could also be that maybe... Like, there were different Zora, and those Zora evolved differently into the Rito over the years, while Zora's domain, re or uh, Zora, stayed the same. <laughs> I've seen several YouTube theorists and Zelda fans around online discussing how they can coexist in the same era and timeline. He is very interesting. But I shall not use motion control, just in case, because it could be crazy. I would just like to note, Ravali didn't get a Vomedo section. Granted, we were the invaders there for a moment, so not really the same. Oh, we have to pilot the Divine Beast, or else hell unleash. But come on, Varuta. Grand Elephant. Let us show them what it means to fight.
I beseech you, Varuta, I didn't read it fast enough, for I am a fool. <laughs> Defeat the monsters of Zora's Domain, you mean obliterate Zora's Domain. There's so many monsters, nevertheless, together, we can accomplish anything. Together we can destroy <laughs> this poor, poor place. There's an obstacle blocking our path. I wonder if I can topple it. This is the magnitude of a divine beast's power. Incredible. Oh, I forgot I could do this. Oh, since I'm sitting in water, I get superpower. Get obliterated. Malefants never forget. You think your arrows will do anything? Freaks. Stupid, <laughs> like, whiz robes thinking they can take me on. I think they were fire robes, too. Not even electro robes. Obliteration! I was wondering... Obliteration! If this is the power of the Divine Beast, how did we, like... <laughs> like, I know, like, it's because, like, Calamity Ganon took over, but still, if he took over, I'm uh, almost surprised that Hyrule didn't fall faster. There are only a few enemies left. We shall make quick walk of them. As I say, work in a very weird way. There are so many Lynels and so many abs. We must press on. Oh, I can do this. Take them all out, presumably. Goodbye. Thank you, Varuta. Together we have restored peace to the domain. Varuta, we can keep everyone safe. See, Dorafan? Dorafan? You can have a giant elephant mech save your people if you just join us in fighting Calamity. This attack proves your point. We are woefully unprepared to defend against the Calamity. Oh, I think there's a second right there. The he's, he's already old! This peril head on. We must consider the future. We all share this land of Hyrule. So all of us must do our part. Mitha, attend. Yes, father. <sighs> she already pi piloted it once. The pilot of the divine beast. So she can pilot it all the time now. <sighs> On one condition. She come back alive. You must promise. <laughs> Well, that is the point of piloting it. It's not a suicide mission. Well, except for the whole... Blight thing. Da -da -da. I still love this game. <laughs> committing mass genocide on enemies. And eh, they're monsters. They'll rise again on the blood moon. 
Zoro's domain will be safe after this, after all the destruction. It's just deep cleaning. Mifa, Zoro Wellspring. The princess of the Zora who possesses an incredible healing power. She was childhood friends with Link. Now she is entrusted with piloting Divine Beast Varuta. Ba -da -do. Materials needed. Dying to make contact. Gang use of the Kochi Dye Shop. Well, I definitely want that as fast as possible. <laughs> From YouTube chat. Probably won't be joining in as I haven't played the game myself yet and I'm allergic to spoilers. Completely understandable. But I hope it's a good game or something, Lamal. <laughs> Thank you for jumping in. For just a moment. But I completely understand. Because spoilers, spoilers is evil. Even if this game came out four years ago, completely understand not wanting to be spoiled. Superb fish dish. A villager insists she's perfected the ultimate fish dish. When eaten, it'll let you endure even the hottest temperatures. She'll teach you how to make it if you bring her the ingredients. Oh. The villager skewered and grilled what you brought her. Simple enough. She was right to call a recipe something special. The dish cools the body. Make it any time you need to beat the heat. Damage from fire, no, 50%. Nice. Two-handed weapon bonus combo. Oh, that doesn't take too much. A youth from Hatino Village wants to make a monster dummy that he can use for two-handed weapon practice. If only he had some monster parts to craft it. With the materials Link gave him, the youth was able to make a true-to-life monster dummy. The pair trained together, improving Link's skill with two-handed weapons. The power of kindness lets you kill even harder! A new shop owner will soon be opening his business, but wants to sell just special items that would be good for limited time only sales. Help him find things to stock. You did well. The shop owner was happy with the things you got for him. He thinks they'll help drum up excitement for his limited time only concept. It should be a big shopping event. Hi. Love the music in this game. <laughs> From YouTube chat, King Dorafan. Please promise me to return back safe and alive. Yeah, let's hope Mifa keeps that promise. There's a boy in Zora's domain who hates swimming. Out of frustration, he's even begun shirking his training. But with something to make swimming easier, maybe he'll learn to love it. Here, kid, have some rush rooms. You'll become addicted. You'll never be able to wake up in the morning without him. After learning how fun it is to splash around, the boy threw himself into his swimming exercises. He even began doing laps with Mifa, who was glad to see his newfound enthusiasm. And Mifa's training. Let's do a Mifa's training quickly. I wonder how it was delicious. Ba 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 ba. Let's a go. Let's a go. Let's a go. Let's a let's a let's a let's a let's a go. Let's a go. Also, I've noticed that like a single. Like, mission gives you so many rubies compared to, like, normal Breath of the Wild. Murder for profit. 
if it weren't for the fact that Rivali is a bowman and therefore probably back f uh, best further back, I would be offended at me for taking a <laughs> place in front of him. I need to use that more. How dare you poke me. Da -da -da -da. More flurry rush time! Dang it, wrong one. Oh well. Oh. Ah, flurry rush time! I can't even see what's happening, but they all died. Flurry rush off. Now prepare to die in Bubble of Doom. Just like Ruto before her, Mipha decides to just utterly murder her enemies in horrifying ways. Let's take on another mob. Get smacked, idiot. I got smacked out of it. Drown, bitch. Drown. It is done. Here. The murder is done. No idea what that even really is. But it is pretty neat. He has like a dash attack. Prepare to be drilled, Lizalfos bitches. Don't even know what hit me. Some projectile. A dare. Quit spitting at me. Very rude. Because we're trying to kill each other doesn't mean you have to be rude. Yeah, run away. Get out of my domain. And leveled up a decent amount of times for me for there. So many monster part drop rates for the boy. Yeah, I really, really like this game. So fun. Da -da, da -da -da. And I guess we'll quickly finish off and do this, but first we'll go level up Mipha a little bit. I'll just give her two. Oh, and then we can go to the blacksmiths to level up her trident. Let's see. Attack speed. Alright, that's a single thing. Da -da 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 -da. Don't really have many mid-air attacks. So I guess we'll give her attack speed. Ba, ba, ba. Mm? 
<laughs> give her some extra damage. Let's see if we can give Ravali a better time. Special attack damage, but he's more of a normal attacker. Well, first we'll use that on. And then we'll have to wait for our next opportunity, because then we can, like, combo on the monster part drops for Rivali and he'll just be a drop monster. Now let's go and beat up these monsters. For Magnesis training. I know, another thing I really do appreciate is every single character seems to use the runes differently. Granted, that could also lead to certain characters having better usage of runes than others. Especially against certain enemies, like Link is bad at throwing bombs up, but it just I really do enjoy the uniqueness. It's nice. Smacked in his All of you will get so smacked. You won't even know what it means to be not smacked. Let me in. Oh, be careful. I want to be shot. And then we can use those boxes against the boss that shows up, probably. A big Lizalfos. Oh, that's how I do air. Ah, okay. Air combos. Okay, I get you now. Very cool. Bye. Oh, 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 just the moblin. We shall take him down. I do like that Mifa continues the tradition of swimming on land. I throw this back at you. You bitch. time idiot drown alone in your sins I did it I won Huzzah. Ba -da. We're still missing that snail. Doesn't seem like any place has the things that we need. Ba -da -da -da. Ah, but we can do this now. A restaurant known for a menu based on the mountain's bounty is planning a dinner party where the theme is wild greens. Collect what they need to feed a hungry crowd. Beautiful work. The restaurant held its dinner party and turnout was incredible. The greens you gathered made for a memorable dish. The restaurant taught you the recipe and thanks. Perfect dodge window. Hmm. Might be nice. But that shall be it for now. 
I might do some grind... Oh, well, we can grab this. But, like, uh, just for the future reference, I might do grinding on my own times. Just, like, doing basic missions that we already did to get more, like, resources and stuff. Buy things from these, like, stables and stuff. Oh, what? Hey. what, 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 what you, you what, my dude? Sigomo? What the fuck? How'd you get these? This is illegal. Ah. Like, since I... I won't buy all of them, ah. but I will buy a few. Basically the ones that I'm low on. <laughs> I might as well. Glad I looked. Because I think we can, like, go to services and see what's available, which is a nice thing. Oh, and speaking of that, let's check out the lab. We're missing one Moblin trophy. Singular Moblin! Ah, oh, but we bought the impor important things. For ancient research, we analyze the excavated relics and use the tech we find for all kinds of things. The gist is that we need samples, lots of them. The more, the merrier. And improve odds of ancient item drops, sure. <laughs> nice we can now acquire more of the materials we need for research and development of ancient relics. That means we'll be busier than ever with our important work. And what the hell is this? Obtain? What is that? I need a weird claw thing? What the hell? Well, kiddo. Don't be a stranger. But yeah. In my own time, I'll just do, like, normal missions for money and resources, buy things at stores, but I will not progress any of these unless it's on stream, because I like reading them. Never one to neglect her daily training, Mifa heads off to a climb the waterfall with something to energize her. She might be able to ascend more easily. Mifa reported in after training looking very pleased. With the boost to her stamina, she had climbed the waterfall in record time. But yep. Do believe that that shall be it for now. But first, get that boy some fashion pants. We'll make him into a hideous monster. But I really like this game. It's so fun. It's very fun, very interesting. The story, the characters, it's just great. It's just great. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from... Uh, excuse me. Yeah. If you want more from me, my link tree, which should be linked in all the various link places, descriptions, and bios, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, holds everything that I do like my edited content YouTube channel. I am working on scripts, I swear. Along with the streaming YouTube and streaming Twitch, whichever be your preference. With all of these streams being uploaded to the YouTube channel after the fact for quality. It was fun hanging out, and thank you for coming on in and spending some time here. <laughs> Thanks for stream pride. <laughs> the YouTube channel pop off. It kind of is, by my standards at least. The past few months have been decent, decent in terms of subscribers and viewership. It's nice. But other things in my link tree include art similar to my little character in the corner and in slate art. I need to draw more. Drawing's fun. And then also, uh, oh yeah, just like various places, art sites, social media. It's uploaded all over the place because uh, social media is a hellhole. Yeah. And then I also upload some art. Uh, oh no, not art. I already said that. I upload writing to various sites because stories are cool and I need to write more as well. Writing fun. And then finally in my link tree is a donation bucket Patreon for the extraordinarily kind. 
But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.